So this is my Panasonic black and white space helmet TV from the 70s that I had when I was a kid. And I went through to um, went through to try to get it to work. Uh, and we found out that the actual picture tube was fried. We called around to see about getting it replaced and nothing. Nobody has parts, everybody. So in any case, um, I did want to still use it, so I decided to uh, see what I could do to retrofit it to put a nice, to put a screen in it. So what I've decided to do is to uh, use Google Chromecast, and I'll, I'm going to show you kind of some of the parts and pieces that I'm going to use in order to put this together and make a viewing TV out of it. So stay tuned. So I was able to gut most of this, as you can see, and um, this quite a bit has been removed from this unit. And while I was going to see about using this speaker that comes with the uh, that came with it that still probably that still works, um, which I still could, might try, but I figured I would just. Um, use the, because it's not a stereo speaker, I figured I would just use the, uh, I just bought a speaker, an auxiliary speaker. I will leave this in here and perhaps somebody might be able to, sh in the comments, let me know how to wire this up. It looks a little bit more complicated than just your normal average everyday speaker. So anyway, but I did, I gutted most of this, uh, some of it I left in here just because I haven't had the opportunity to get it, but there is an access this is right here is the actual power cord that came with it. So what I'm going to do is splice on a multi-head uh, multi uh, extension cord and that will power the Chromecast and uh, the other items that need power. So anyway, so this is, there's plenty of room inside here for, for doing this. Um, for getting everything in here so we just wanted to uh, give you show you a little bit about what we're doing so this is the screen that I bought I found on Amazon for $20 it's a backup camera and it works uh, backup camera monitor that you put in your car and I was able to buy it separate without the backup camera for $19 plus shipping so it's a little bit small for this opening as you can see, a little small, but I tried. I did try it out, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But I did try it out, and it worked perfectly. So what I'm gonna have to do, and I'm gonna have to take this lip off to make this whole thing flat, which I'll do with a Dremel or a file or something of that nature that won't get too warm. And then I'm gonna build an insert for this out of. I bought a piece of. Uh, PVC plastic and we'll make something that will fit inside of here and then I'm going to use these existing holes to um, secure the screen and it's call it a mat like a mat frame like you do mat like you would do in a um, in a, uh, a picture frame so this sheet Right here, it's hard to see on the desk, but this is the plastic PVC sheet for which I'm going to make a mat to go into this frame. Um, and what I'm going to do first is make a cardboard, make a cardboard analog for it, just to fit it and see if my dimensions that I made are correct, fit it in, and then replicate it in the plastic. So back with more TV action, fitting action. So this is the screen area again, where we have to fit the fit the the mat in. And this is what I was able to to build. So after some trial and error, I was able to get this to go to fit in, just about perfect, right in there. And then we we're going to cut a hole in there for that. For that screen now these little pink what we have to do though is I want to make sure that 
the opening aligns as close as possible with that opening. So what I did was I took some dollar store nail polish and as you, if you look really close you can see in here where the little tick marks are. So I did it at the radiuses of the corners and then went through and then dropped this back in so you can see the pretty pink. Pink was the lightest color I had. I have red and some other colors too. You, you can also use that for um, for coating wires um, or connectors. So you can color code connectors. It's another another good. It takes a while to dry though. Anyway, uh, but it's cheaper than the paint pens, I think. So then um, I was able to do that. So now I have kind of the, the correct. What we're going to do is drill a couple of pilot holes here and here and then use the the grinding wheel to cut uh, that should because it should be pretty straight and then this is the other trial I did it with paper first just to see or uh, manila folder or whatever to get it lined up and relined it up on here and we are rocking and rolling so <clears throat> uh, stay tuned okay so we're back again and I've got um, all my trials and tribulations here um, I finally got a frame made it seems to fit in here quite perfectly to put the to put the screen in um, and it's like everything works out okay on the back side but when you turn it over a little bit I don't know if you can see it I'm a little bit disappointed in how it's looking on that side but I think I'm going to keep it that way but what I'm going to do what I've done here is and you can trial and error and use kind of a I was going to use a um, like a picture frame shim spring situation but what I found out and determined is I had this metal strap and these two bolts holes right here and we can see one right here and then one right here um, I can brace this over it and then put up a couple of holes in there and then screw this down to secure it and it should hold pretty well I'd have to have some longer screws down there but that will work this way the other thing that I'm toying with is just leaving this out altogether and having this just lay in here and perhaps just putting a frame along this along the top or bottom and see because this will cover up the hole on the sides perfectly but it will just leave the space on the top and the bottom I don't know if you can see down there but anyway we'll see more to come okay so I'm back and we're going to bring this all around and together. So I've got in here, if you look, I've got the screen and this strap had worked out. So it was, we've got the screen and it is, it is, uh, actually it looks like it may have moved a wee bit. There we go. And it is in place. It's all turned on right at the moment, by the way. Um, and this this there's a is holding it in place. It was able to screw into the pre to the holes that were already there. Um, and then this the wire comes off, and it feeds into an HDMI converter, which is right here. The video piece of it. And the audio, audio is here feeds into here. And then the uh, video. The umbilical comes off with these three so we have the audio and video comes out goes into the converter the converter then goes to the Chromecast the audio goes to this speaker it's a direct hookup it's not a Bluetooth hookup uh, this is the power cord for both the video Bluetooth and uh, video Bluetooth and the speaker 
and we're all set to go. So then I'm going to try to put this back together here real quick. So then and I've got it on so you'll be able to see. So we just slide this in to kind of where it naturally sits here click in that. And then Word goes out the back, and we spin this around. There we go. We have a TV that works. It's showing the. It's showing the. Uh, the picture. You'll see it move. You'll see it change. Here it's showing the picture from the feed from the Chromecast. So it is online, it's ready to go, and then we use, and then I use a streaming service anyway for my TV. So all I have to do is uh, put that uh, startup streaming service and we're ready to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions or if you uh, have any suggestions about how to better do this, I'm looking into maybe even an HDMI actual a uh, monitor like a photography monitor that runs straight an HDI cable so I can bypass the box so anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time and at last we can see the TV working uh, with the screen going full color a black and white TV uh, you can hear the sound speaker coming out of it so uh, Pretty exciting, pretty neat little project. Um, love to do more of these. Uh, I've got a couple other restoration projects that I'm working on. Uh, one of them is a uh, an old vintage kids football helmet. So we'll we'll introduce that soon and uh, keep that going. All right.